In this video, I will explain you how the Awingu scaling works and how to set up an Awingu multi-node. The, the first thing you need to know is that uh, the Awingu appliance itself scales horizontally, which means that if you add more memory or CPU to an existing uh, Awingu VM, you will be able to handle more RDP connections or handle more file actions. Um, what you need to know is that the minimum size of a VM, of an Awingo VM, is two CPUs, four gigabytes of memory. But if you scale it up, for example, to eight CPUs and eight gigabytes of memory, you will be able to handle something like between 300 to 500 concurrent RDP streams, a bit depending on if you're doing a lot of file activities and other things in Awingo or not. But in general, uh, one Awingo appliance can handle between 300 and 500 RDP connections uh, at the same time. If you want to go above that, or if you want to have uh, some kind of hardware, uh, high availability, you can put multiple Awingu nodes together in a cluster. The first thing you need to do, and this is something I've explained during the uh, installation video, is um, if you want to go to multiple nodes, you need to make sure that uh, the database is not on the first Awingu node, but is installed on an external uh, database. So this is something you need to do up front when you're installing the first uh, Awingu node. Make sure that uh, in the install, so the, the fourth step of the installer, you don't use the internal database, but you use an external database. Uh, external databases can be Microsoft SQL, PostgreSQL, so, uh, but please make sure that uh, there is no uh, database on your first node. Uh, then, once that first node is installed, you can easily add extra nodes to it. So let me demonstrate how that works. So the first thing you will see is I have uh, connected to one of my uh, test systems over here. Uh, and I have uh, a second node, which is just on the installer. So if I want to add a node to an existing uh, cluster, or if I want to scale it up, uh, the only thing I need to do is boot up an extra Awingo appliance. Don't go through the installer, just uh, leave it there. Uh, and I have a third one also. So these are my three nodes I would like to cluster. So the first one is installed with an external database. This is something you can see in the connectivity page of Awingu. So if you go to global connectivity, you will see that uh, for my first node, I have a database connection, which is external. And you see the, the details of my uh, external database. If I would like to bring in those extra nodes into the cluster, then what I need to do is I need to go to the uh, service management of uh, Awingu. And as you can see, uh, for the moment, I only have that uh, first Awingu node. I don't have uh, oh. the, uh, the other ones. So if I would like to add now the other ones, there is an uh, edit button over here, and then I can add uh, one appliance after another. So I could call this uh, second appliance like the node number two, and then provide the IP address, which was the uh, 79. And then uh, I'm going to add immediately also the third Awingu node. So let's call this the node number three, and the IP address is the 77. Click on uh, Add. Uh, Awingu will already do a quick check if those nodes are reachable and accessible. So uh, if you get an error over here, it means that Awingu cannot reach your um, uh, extra nodes. Um, last thing before uh, I can uh, finalize the configuration is I need to specify which services will run on these uh, extra nodes I would like to add. So as you can see, there are two kinds of services. There is the backend services and the front-end services. Front-end services is the RDP connection. So the more front-end services you have, the more uh, RDP connections that can be done, the more files that can be handled, the more reverse proxy web apps that can be done. So front-end has to do with your scaling. The, the more you have of those, the more uh, uh, the more uh, users or, 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 or uh, files we, ca we can access. So I'm going to make uh, all three nodes uh, front-end services. And then the back-end service has to do with the auditing. So um, for the auditing, there is something important you need to know. Um, auditing, if you want to make that part high available, it needs to be one or three. So there are no other options. Uh, it's not possible today to, to have like a, a two backend uh, setup. If you want to make it high available, it needs to be one or three. Also four, five or higher, that is not possible. With, with the front end, this is uh, possible, but with the back end, it's not possible. So if I would like to make the back end also high available, I need to have three and in total three uh, nodes. Uh, once this is finished, the only thing I still need to do is click on update, and then Awingu will uh, reconfigure the, the system and uh, will uh, make sure that I have a three node setup at the end. Uh, as you can see, Awingo warms, warms me that there will be uh, some service interruption. So 
uh, please make sure that uh, if you plan to uh, extend the uh, Awingu cluster to a higher system and you're making changes to the backend services, that there will be service interruption. If you're going to add just an extra front-end node, then this can be done online. But if you're uh, planning to uh, add extra backend services, that uh, will require downtime on the system. Uh, this will take uh, somewhere between uh, uh, 10 to uh, uh, 20 minutes, but depending on the speed of your uh, hardware and the number of uh, appliances you would like to add. Just uh, leave, it, uh, leave it up and running. Um, step 12 of the 12 is again the, the longest one, so be patient. But normally after, uh, after this has finished, you will have a, a three-node uh, Awingu setup. Um, the configuration will remain a, a single uh, system, so you will only need to do the configuration once. Uh, that will be automatically propagated to the other nodes. Same thing for the auditing. Everything will be uh, seen from a central uh, view. Uh, the only thing you still need to do yourself is then put a, a web um, load balancer in front of Awingu so that the three nodes, in my case, can be used all at the same time.